Hey guys, so today's gonna be a little bit of a different kind of vlog. I wanted to have more of like a chat because I had something on my mind and I made a little coffee and then I was like, hmm, why don't I actually talk about this in a vlog because I do feel, I hope the lighting is okay. I always say this in every video and then I watch it back and it's super fine. Um, but just because it's only coming from one side so I'm hoping it's not like weird. I wanted to talk a bit about changes and making changes in life and kind of my journey with the changes that I've made in the last kind of, I would say year, in the hopes that this might help one of you. Um, I don't know, you know, I, changes are so scary and I feel like I've been thinking about changes for the last few years constantly and been kind of terrified of them because change is scary. It is definitely that uneasy, uncomfortable, unknown feeling of what's going to happen if I change something. Is it going to be successful? Is it not? Should I make this move? And whatever it is, it doesn't have to be about career wise. It could be about relationships. It could be about anything, you know, like huge life decisions. Um, family, like, I don't know, changes are just changes. And I would say that I've changed a lot of things in the last year and either you've noticed it or you haven't. If you've been following me from the very, 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 very beginning of my days on social media, then you probably would have noticed it. Um, and if you haven't, then, you know, um, I have made a lot of changes. I used to do a lot of different things on social media and I was pretty unhappy. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, let me just down silent. I can't stress enough how important change is though, especially if you are feeling unhappy, unsatisfied with what you're currently doing or how you're currently living. It's very important to take those steps to make those changes. Even if it means losing something that you may have had for years and years, um, something that made you comfortable, something that made you feel good um, in a way that wasn't necessarily long lasting, let's say. I'm gonna talk about my situation just because obviously I'm, I'm from my experience, I can only talk from my experience, but this can relate to anyone's experience and you can always like see what I'm saying and put it in your own perspective. Uh, but for me, I was pretty unhappy about even just a year ago, I would say. I was in Quite a dark, I, would, I don't wanna say I was in a really dark place because I feel like you could be in way dark, darker places than I was, but I wasn't not happy. Like I wasn't happy whatsoever. And I just didn't know what I was doing with anything. And I didn't have a path and I didn't know what kind of path I wanted to take. And I was so confused and clueless. Like it was hurting me. It was hurting me every day and it was making me more and more unhappy. And my acting was also all over the place. It was not going very well. If you're an actor, you will completely be able to relate to me unless you're a really top successful actor already, uh, which in that case, if you're watching my video, then hi, can we like chat? <laughs> Joking. Acting is one of those things where it's completely unknown to you if you will succeed or not. It's not like you can plan your career really. I mean, you can do everything you can and try and network as much as you can and try and get to where you want to be as much as you can, but it's not in your hands if you're gonna succeed or not. And that's what makes acting so unbelievably hard and also makes you feel down a lot of the time because even though you try and stay positive all the time, there's so much rejection included in acting, constant rejection, constant no, 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 no. Maybe a slight yes, but it's slight and it might not even be a full yes. It's just, it's a tough industry to stay positive in. And that's why a lot of actors don't end up being actors or they um, will just quit or, you know, they'll do other, worse things which is like harming themselves or going into depression or just horrible things that you know aren't great and this is why for me personally i need a side hustle because ever since like i i got into the acting industry a very very long time ago i've always been into acting ever since i was very little i did drama at school then i went to drama school i went to three different drama schools um and then i obviously got an agent in the uk which I wasn't too satisfied with, but that's a whole other story. And I don't, there's a reason why I don't like to talk about acting so much on social media. And I will do a separate video about that because I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about that since it is my life and my biggest passion of all time. But it's just, ah, there's so much to it. I mean, now, right now, I'm in a slightly better place with it. I still know where I really wanna be, but like I said, I haven't got that much control of acting myself. Whereas with social media, I can kind of have full control of what I post, what I show, what I want to build on there. And I can kind of build a career on there and it's fully me controlling it. 
obviously it's like whoever views it and the people that support me are also kind of slightly in control but it's like I can choose what I want to do and what I want to show push myself to work harder and harder and harder and create more and more and more and then I will grow more and more and more naturally uh, whereas with acting it doesn't matter how hard you work sometimes you just don't grow and that's just how it is <laughs> um, a lot of luck is involved in acting whereas in social media I do think you could be a little bit more strategic uh, to enable growth in my personal opinion obviously luck can also play a part but it's honestly just hard work so yeah for me it's very important to have a side hustle which for me is my social media building a career on there interacting with you guys having a community for me that's so important to keep me sane I have friends who you know are struggling with the acting thing because acting is the only thing that's their focus and only having acting as your focus point can absolutely destroy you because like I said it's a very tough industry um, a lot of people think it's easy um, trust me when I tell you it's not easy not that social media is easy social media is fucking hard but acting is really out of your control so for me having this other outlet where I can be creative and have absolute creative freedom and be accepted by people you know and not always rejected is what keeps me sane up here but when I got lost in this social media world you know and I just didn't know what I was doing anymore I started off if you don't know how I started I'm just gonna recap it very very quickly but I think most of you are like OGs here I would assume um, if you're not then thank you very much for you know being new and, and finding me and whatever like thank you so I started um, on a Bulgarian no, actually I didn't start on a Bulgarian channel, that's a lie. I started on um, a separate YouTube channel about four years ago now. And I made English videos, I did all sorts of videos, I did little skits, I did a lot of- a bunch of stuff. I just finished university and um, I was confused, obviously, I feel like I'm confused all my life. And I didn't know what to do because I was like, okay, I guess I should be an actress now, but like how do I be an actress? Because I just finished like drama school and I was like, okay, now what? So I took to YouTube to create my own little skits, my own videos. I did a lot of comedy, which I thought I was funny, which I don't think I was, I don't think I was funny, but you know, I tried and I made little skits and I really enjoyed it a lot. And I didn't ever plan on like trying to make social media like an, a work thing, a career. A career. Like this was never in my head. I did it because I loved making these little videos, these skits, and it was a way to kind of like continue acting out of university before I knew how to do it in the real world. That's what I did for maybe like, I would say about a year. And there was a trend back in the day as well where people were tasting snacks from all over the world. And I went to Bulgaria at that point to visit my mom and I remember thinking, oh, let me do a Bulgarian version. So I did a video where I tasted Bulgarian snacks. And then at the beginning, it didn't get much traffic to be honest, no one really saw it. And then a few months down the line, the algorithm kind of pushed it through to all the Bulgarians in Bulgaria and everyone kind of discovered me through that video. And it was great, it was fun. It was like, whoa, what's happening? I think I blew up overnight. I think I got like 10,000 followers overnight on Instagram. And yes, it was cool. I'm not gonna lie and say it wasn't cool. I was mind blown. I was a lot younger as well and I was like, whoa, this is so exciting. Oh my God, I'm gonna be famous. But, <laughs> but then I was confused because all these people now were Bulgarian and they were like requesting Bulgarian videos from me. And I was like, this is not a Bulgarian channel. What the hell is happening? Like, I'm so confused. So then in my head, I thought, okay, well, since like literally all the people on my channel are now Bulgarian, maybe I should make Bulgarian videos. So then I started making Bulgarian content and people loved it. They really loved it. I didn't understand why. And I still till this day don't really understand. I guess they just liked that my Bulgarian was a little bit broken. I was living abroad and it was exciting and interesting for them to see how, you know, a Bulgarian was living outside of Bulgaria and trying to speak Bulgarian. And I don't know, I guess it was different. I guess different is the only word that I can think of. But anyway, uh, and then I assume some people also liked me as me because obviously you guys are sticking around now. So thank you so much if you are from the OG days and you're still here. I love you. I'm not gonna lie, I did really enjoy making those vlogs and those videos. I did really like it. But after a while, it just felt like a drag. I really wasn't into it anymore. And I kept trying to fool myself that I was into it. I really did. Um, and I delayed making changes for so, so, so long because I was scared. I was so scared of change. I was so scared of losing everything I had gained. I was so scared of being a nobody. I was scared of being forgotten and it sounds so dumb. It sounds really dumb. Like it's like saying it out loud sounds dumb, but I have to be honest here and say I was afraid. I was like, well, if I stop making these videos, then no one's gonna like what's gonna happen. I was just so scared. And one day though, I was like, I have to stop. I have to stop because I either can choose being 
potentially very happy with something new in the future that may or may not work, but there is that happiness option, or having loads of followers and views, but being super unhappy. And I mean, it was an obvious like choice for me. I, I was obviously gonna go for happiness. I will never, ever, 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 ever choose a following or fame or whatever instead of happiness. That's just not something that I would do. It's not something I can do because I can tell you, a lot of people think that when you have a lot of followers online, you're happy, but I have to tell you, and I'm not saying this to sound like ungrateful because I'm so, fucking grateful that I have a platform that I can even speak to, like you're even watching this, like who's even listening to me? Why do I have a voice? So thank you for giving me a voice and a platform to, you know, allow that voice to be heard on. But having followers doesn't make you happy unless you are doing something that makes you happy. And the followers are the addition to that. Obviously the followers, the, you guys are what enables me to even be able to do this. So you are the stars in my eyes. You are the ones that are actually making this possible. And it sounds so weird and like, I don't know, but you are giving me this opportunity. So I'm on my period, so I don't wanna get emotional. <laughs> But you are what's allowing me to continue doing this. So thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart that you're allowing me to do this by giving me this opportunity. So thank you. But now that I've actually finally, I think found where I wanna be, what I wanna do. Um, like I said, if you've been following me for a while, you will have seen that I've gone through a lot of changes. I've had up and ups and downs. I've changed niches. I've changed video styles. I've changed so much stuff because on one hand, I was testing out content to see what works, what doesn't, what I like doing, what I don't like doing, losing motivation at some point, doing stuff just for the sake of doing stuff so that I stay active on social media. And I think that you, especially if you are a long-term follower, um, an OG, you will notice. I think as a viewer, you just generally notice when people are doing things just for the sake of doing them. And you notice when they're doing things when, because they really, really love that and are passionate about it. I mean, I know I do when I watch people and I can see they're making something and they're really enjoying making that thing. It makes me happy too. It makes me enjoy watching it more. When I see someone's doing something just to get views or to try and get, I don't know, like I, you can see through these things. You just can, it's not hard. And I think now, finally, I have found what I love doing. I, I think so. Let's stay positive about it. I feel so passionate. Ever since I turned vegan this year, I didn't know it was gonna change my life the way it did, but I have to touch knock wood that since the beginning of 2021, which is very recent, I know, I have had a completely different mindset on so many things. I feel alive, I feel positive, I feel passionate, I feel driven. I just, I want to create, I want to work, I want to be successful and I want to help others. And I think that is what I was missing in my social media page, my profile, my, my branding. Like I just didn't have a purpose, I didn't have a point. And I know a lot of people, you know, reached out to me and said, your vlogs really made me happy. Like I loved your vlogs. Um, they, you know, made me feel great when I was in a really dark place and thank you for making me laugh. And that is incredibly like touches my heart and I'm so, so glad that I was able to do that for some people. But there was nothing in return for me. I didn't feel a reward from the videos I was making. I didn't feel like I was growing or there was a potential future in that. There was no career for me in my eyes. So now I finally feel like I have that sort of, building and it's gonna be slow and I know it's gonna be a process and I know I'm still gonna lose a lot of followers because I am losing daily followers, bam, 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 left, right and center because you know, I'm changing, I'm making big changes and not everyone's gonna be into it and that's 100% fine. I'm never gonna expect everyone to be into everything I do. Like that's crazy and I can fully understand if people are bored or just over it or don't like it and they wanna leave, like that's fine. That is absolutely fine because I'm sure I've done it too with creators that I used to like and now I'm like, oh, that's not really my vibe and I leave and that's fine. But I'm just excited to, you know, keep you guys that are still here, which I'm so grateful for that. If you are here and you're still interested in what I do, then you my girl or my boy. <laughs> and you know, if you're new, then I'm so excited to have you join this community and I'm so excited for more members to join and I'm just excited to build this new like life and new, I don't know, I'm excited. And I, I really pray to God that this will stay and this will be it for me. Like I want this to be it. And of course I have my acting, which is the biggest passion, the biggest dream. Hello, sweetie. Come here, you're my biggest dream, aren't you? 
Wowie. It's my biggest passion. It's my biggest dream. But like I said, it's something that I can't always fully control. And it's something that because I'm so passionate about it, it can also put me in a really dark place when things aren't going the way I want them to. So I need the side hustle and this stuff right now that I'm doing, taking care of my health, taking care of my mental health as well, not just my physical health, eating well, teaching others how to eat well, um, or like not even teaching, inspiring. I don't take teaching because I feel like everyone has their own way of living and I think that's fine. I don't think there's a right or a wrong, but I think there are ways to better yourself and make changes that are positive. I, I, I feel like people see changes as a bad thing a lot of the time. You know when you see those like YouTube comments and people are like, oh, I, w I miss the old Olivera or I miss the old her or this and that. And you're just like, I miss the old Miley Cyrus. You're like, dude, these people grow. It's normal. They're adults now. Like they're, they're building a career. They're living their life. They're growing. And it's, scary. it's very scary if you don't change, actually. I would be concerned. So I think it's important to change and grow. And I think changes can be incredibly powerful and positive and they're very very important so don't be afraid to change please don't be afraid to change it's gonna be scary you might not love it at the beginning and it might feel like everything is just going downhill and nothing's working and you might be afraid are people gonna like like what i do um are it's, it doesn't have to be a career thing like i said it can be a family thing it can be a relationship thing but if you think in the long run it's gonna make you happier then just do it I promise you, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. Don't expect like you're gonna wake up and everything's gonna be great, but it's a process. It is a process that you need to go through, but there is a light at the end of that tunnel. And if you've been thinking about making changes, but you haven't been sure, right now is your sign. I'm telling you, make the change, do it. Just rip it off like a band-aid, make it and go through it slowly, day by day. These things take time, like I said, it's not gonna be instant, but it will be so worth it in the end when you feel better and happier. God, happiness is literally the number one thing in life. You need to be happy. Oh my goodness. It's so important. It beats everything else. And um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because this video is 20 minutes long and um, I don't wanna make it any longer, but I hope that you can kind of understand where I'm coming from and why I've made the changes I've made. And I'm sorry if a lot of you missed the old me, but she's gone and she's probably never coming back again. <laughs> Um, but there's a new me and a happier me and um, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I'm ever even gonna go back to making Bulgarian videos again I don't know maybe honestly maybe I don't know I have never said I'm never gonna do that again but if I do it will be completely different content and it will be something that I'm extremely passionate about and something that I want to help motivate inspire people to do cool better cool things cool better cool things I don't know <laughs> you get what I mean so yeah anyway what are I gonna go Bye. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog, which will be a regular vlog. But I do like to have this little outlet here where we can just chat. And you guys are my OGs. I know there's only a few of you here, but I appreciate it so much. And I think like we're the closest here. I think this vlog channel is where it's like the OOGs and like the real supporting people that I absolutely love. And um, I feel like I feel closest to you guys because even though like I don't see you, I don't really hear from you much, but I just feel like you guys are the ones that really are there for me. And I truly fucking appreciate that so much. So thank you and I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself and make that change if you need to. Thank you.